Hamilton County deputies are investigating a drowning on the Whitewater River this evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm Curtis Fuller. And I'm Molly Lair. A woman died after her kayak overturned and she could not be saved. WLWT News 5 Sergeant Child spent the day talking to folks on the river who say these tragic incidents happen far too often. I'm at Green Acres. Um, we're like maybe like a mile or two down and we have someone that has been drowning and it doesn't look like they're responsive. The calls to dispatch began at 12 noon. A kayaker in the waters of the Whitewater River. Her kayak slipped over and she just couldn't stay up in water. She had a life jacket on, but she just didn't make it. That woman, according to Hamilton County Sheriff's officials, 60-year-old Bobby Egan, pronounced dead on the scene. While the investigation remains ongoing, operations resume today at Green Acres. The muddy waters of the Whitewater River cooled on a hot July day, rushing and deadly. It's tricky, man. You got to know it. You can't just come down and it'd be your first time. You just think you can do whatever. Craig Rice knows this river. He's boated and fished here over 20 years. He knows its dangers. You could hit, hit any, you know what I mean? Hit a rock, flip a canoe. Them canoes are pretty easy to tip. And while they didn't want to comment on camera, the operators of Green Acres Canoe Livery did acknowledge the woman was part of a party that put in here at this canoe livery. They describe the conditions as normal. They say they're waiting for further information. Green Acres switched to an all kayak operation, citing the instability of canoes for inexperienced renters. Craig says the river has to be respected. You see the current right now in this shallow stuff, but up there in that corner, it looks calm, don't it? There's undercurrent, and that, that's what gets a lot of people. Thousands will take this eight mile trek every year, according to Green Acres. Mark now with an ominous warning. Are they breathing? Um, I'm on the other side of the river, and I don't think that they are. Like, she is limp. I wish I could have told her something to, you know, prevent that or told people that she was with. Richard Childs, WLWT News 5.